What's up guys and welcome to another transfer video on the channel. You already know there's no intro, we will go straight to the news and today we have a lot of confirmations and rumors to discuss but first of all let's try to reach 350 likes in this video so please don't forget to leave a like, smash the like button, it only takes one second of your time. Also, it is really, really important if you could drop a comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Enjoy the video, guys. Have a good day. Let's go. You already know, guys, we're gonna start with some confirmations. Rivaldinho has become a new player in Kirkovia, signing a contract for three years. Ziller has finally completed his move to Cologne from Hanover. Brighton has signed Nak Breda defender Jan Paul Van Hack for around 3 million euros according to Dutch outlets. Leicester keeper Iverson completes loan move to OHL. Vertonghen has officially passed his medicals and signed with Benfica for 3 years. Inter legend Biabiani signed for Spanish second division team San Fernando. Chelsea midfielder Danilo Pantic has joined Serbian club FK Kukariki on a season-long loan for the 2020-2021 campaign. The 23-year-old Serbian signed for the Blues in 2015 but has been almost permanently on loan since. Albion Ajeti has moved from West Ham United to Celtic for an undisclosed fee the Premier League club have confirmed. The Swiss striker leaves the London Stadium after a single season, having made 12 appearances for the Hammers. Sheffield Wednesday have announced the signing of Shade Dunkley. The defender joins the club after making 115 appearances for West Bromwich Albion over the last three seasons. Dunkley is the club's second signing of the summer, having previously added Fizayo Dele Bashiro from Manchester City. Tottenham Academy graduate Louis Binks has joined Serie A side Bologna from Montreal Impact. Bartos Kaputska has left Leicester, returning to his native Poland to join Legia Warsaw on a permanent deal. FC Porto have signed 28-year-old goalkeeper Claudio Ramos from Tondela on a 4-year deal. And finally to finish the confirmations guys, Feyenoord have signed 21-year-old Belgian midfielder Francesco Antonucci from Monaco on a 4-year contract with the option of an extra year. Antonucci will spend the next season on loan with Dutch second-tier side Volendam, where he played in 2019-2020. And now we start with the rumors guys, former Bayern Munich right back Rafinha is ready to return to Europe with Olympiacos according to reports. It is reported the Brazilian currently in his home country with Flamengo has already agreed personal terms with the Greek giants but Flamengo want him to stay. Lazio have reached a deal to sign 26 year old striker Moriki from Fenerbahce according to Sport Italy. The Serie A side will pay 18 million euros for Muriki, who is set to sign a 5 year contract. West Bromwich Albion are hoping to regain the services of striker Colum Robinson, who helped the club achieve promotion to the Premier League. Robinson joined the Baggies on loan from Sheffield United in January and scored 3 goals in 10 starts. According to Sky Sports, West Bromwich Albion want the 25 year old to return either permanently or on loan. Juventus have identified Athletic Madrid midfielder Thomas Partey as a transfer target according to Calcio Mercato. The Spanish giants are ready to let a 27 year old leave the club if their 50 million euros valuation is met. However, Juventus are planning to test Athletic Madrid resolve by including either Federico Bernardeschi and Douglas Costa in any possible deal to reduce the final fee. Milan are ready to launch a bid for Atalanta midfielder Matteo Pessina, according to Calcio Mercato. The Rossoneri are hoping that the 12 million euros offer will be enough to lure the 23 year old away from the Jewish stadium this summer. Pessina spent the 2019-2020 season out on loan at Elas Verona, scoring 7 goals in 35 appearances. Manchester City have launched an opening bid of 63 million euros for Napoli defender Koulibaly as the Sun reports. The Blues are ready to include bonus payments in the final deal but the Italian giants are likely to hold out for a lump sum of 70 million euros up front. 
Manchester United have joined the race to sign Leicester defender Ben Chilwell, as the Mirror reports. Chelsea have also been linked with a 23-year-old, but the Foxes are demanding 88 million euros for a priced asset. The Blues are reluctant to meet Leicester's valuation of Chilwell, and United are now well placed to swoop in and steal his signature. Oli Solskjaer wants Jesse Lingard to stay at Manchester United according to Sky Sports. The England international's current contract does not expire until 2021, and the Red Devils have the option to extend that agreement by an extra year. Solskjaer would like Lingard to remain at Old Trafford amid ongoing transfer rumors, but cannot guarantee him regular playing time next season. Mesut Ozil has made it clear that he will not be leaving Arsenal before the end of his contract, stating that he will give everything for the club and that his four-year deal should be respected by all parties. Gonzalo Higuain and Sami Khedira have both been told they can leave Juventus this summer with neither player featuring in the plans of new manager Andrea Pirlo, according to reports. Despite claiming their Scudetto number 9, 2019-2020 was a comparatively weak year by Juventus' high standards, and Pirlo is looking to fully rebuild his squad and put his own mark on the team. Everton want to sign midfielder Allen from Napoli, according to the Daily Express. The Brazilian has been linked with an exit from Stadio San Paolo this summer, as manager Gennaro Gattuso revamps his squad and could reunite with former Napoli manager Carlo Ancelotti at Goodison Park. Napoli are said to be keen to sell the 29-year-old, but it remains to be seen how much the Tofis are willing or able to pay. Valentino Lazaro is a summer transfer target for Borussia Mönchengladbach, according to Kicker. The Austrian white man spent the second half of the 2019-2020 season on loan at Newcastle United, where he was played as both a right-wing back and as an attacking winger. His parent club, Inter, are said to be willing to sell the 24-year-old this summer, and Gladbach are rumored to be keen on a deal, as our fellow Bundesliga club, Bayer Leverkusen. Liverpool have contacted Bayern Munich regarding Thiago Alcantara, reports Bild and Fabrizio Romano. The midfielder has been heavily linked with the Reds in recent weeks, and it appears that Jurgen Klopp's side is serious about their interests. Thiago is seen as a much-needed creative boost to the Liverpool midfield, which currently features the likes of Jordan Anderson, Fabinho, Naby Keita, Giorgino Vinaldo, James Milner, and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Stoke have lowered their asking price for England goalkeeper Jack Butland to 11 million euros, Sky Sports reports. Butland has one year left on his contract at Stoke and could leave for free next summer. Inter's proposed deal to sign Chelsea left-back Emerson hinges on the future of Antonio Conte, according to Calcio Mercato. It is claimed the five-year contract with the player has already been agreed, but there remains some uncertainty as to whether Conte will remain in his post next season amid tension with the club's owners. West Ham have slapped a price tag of 88 million euros on Declan Rice amid renewed interest from Chelsea, claims the Times. It is reported the Hammers have rejected a swap deal including Michi Batshuayi and Ross Barkley as they have little intention of selling Declan Rice. Borussia Dortmund CEO has doubled down on his club's transfer stance on Jadon Sancho saying definitely means definitely. On the other hand, Borussia Dortmund are expecting Barcelona and Real Madrid to fight Manchester United for Jadon Sancho's signature next year, according to the Mirror. The English star is now expected to remain in Germany this season with the Red Devils struggling to agree a fee and interest only expected to grow in the attacker. Tottenham are willing to sell midfielder Harry Winks with Manchester City considering whether to meet their 44 million euros asking price, reports The Sun. Pep Guardiola is a big fan of the 24-year-old who may struggle for game time at Spurs next season following their signing of Pierre Emelios Jerk from Southampton. While City have plenty of midfield options themselves, Guardiola is eager to ensure Winks lives up to his full potential. LAFC mutually agree to part ways with striker Adama Diomande due to family reasons. 
Manchester United and Tottenham might be given another chance to sign Paulo Dybala from Juventus this summer, reports the Mirror. Both clubs were linked with moves last year and could land the Argentine this time around if they are willing to match Juve's 100 million euros asking price. Winger Diego Perotti will likely be sold by Rome this summer, claims Corriero dello Sport. Both Fenerbahce and Saudi club Al Shabab have shown interest in Perotti, who is expected to cost 2 million euros. And finally, to finish the news, guys, Fiorentina defender Nikola Milenkovic is wanted by AC Milan, according to Sky Sports Italy. Milan have offered Lucas Paqueta as part of a possible deal, but Fiorentina are instead keen on his full 40 million euros transfer fee. We reached the end of the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said in the beginning, our goal for today's video is 350 likes, so please smash that like button, it only takes one second of your time and it is really really important for me and for this new channel to grow. Also it is really really important if you could drop a comment down below about anything that you want guys, I always answer every comment in my videos and finally subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want to keep following me and watching my content. I'm Defaults and I'll see you guys in the next video.